He was a rock and roll great who made Austin his home. Music fans all over the world today are mourning the death of Ian McLoggin. He died today from complications from a stroke suffered at his home near Austin. The tributes are pouring in, including this story on Rolling Stone's website. And tonight we look at the impact McLoggin had both worldwide and here in Austin. Ian McLoggin swung onto London's music scene in the swinging 60s. All this represented a, uh, a cultural awakening. A founding member of the Small Faces, he stayed on after frontman Steve Marriott left the group. Once Rod Stewart and Ronnie Wood joined in, they became simply the Faces. He is of a clown. <laughs> Here's Ronnie falling asleep. I've never seen this picture, but I remember all the clothes very clearly. After the faces split in 1975, McLoggin played keys with the Rolling Stones, both in the studio and on tour, and sat in sessions with scores of other artists. We need a revolution in music and in uh, the business. He moved to Austin in 1994, formed the Bump Band, and reeled in some of the city's best musicians. Tragedy struck in 2006 when McLoggin's wife, Kim, a well-known British model, was killed in a car crash in eastern Travis County. Mourners filled Zilker Park for her memorial. Just two months later, McLoggin picked up with old friends. Hello, Texas. How are you doing this evening? What a beautiful night. Opening for the Rolling Stones in that same park. Aside from playing regular gigs at the Lucky Lounge in the Saxon Pub, Mac, as his friends called him, picked up a paintbrush. Bouts with intense migraines inspired him to produce a collection of works now found at a gallery on South Congress Avenue. In 2012, McLoggin received rock and roll's highest honor, an induction into the Hall of Fame with the small faces and the faces. We do hereby proclaim April 12, 2012, as Ian McLaggen and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Day in Austin, Texas. Ian McLaggen is such an influential figure in rock and roll history, so this event is nice because it recognizes the fact that he's an international star and great musician, but it also recognizes that he's a really important part of Austin. It means a lot to me, you know. That's what Austin is, you know. It's all about friendship, good people. He's a, a real mentor, someone that Many of the musicians definitely look up to and learn an awful lot from. But every time you say go.